Alright, what is going on guys? I've got you sucker here and today I'm bring you another video on Black Ops 3. Today we're going to be talking about some patch notes of a patch that recently come out and also as you can see on the title I've got a giveaway that I've got for you guys so just stick by by the end. If you don't want to hear the patch notes I'm sure you've already seen it. It's been flooded all over my subscription so I'm pretty sure you've heard the most of it so if you want to skip through the video feel free but if you don't you just watch the gameplay and just listen to what I have to say for my patch notes. First of all what you're going to see in the new patch is the Nuketown map is actually free. Obviously you get it for free if you pre-order it from a certain gaming retailer. Now it is free for all people. You didn't need to pre-order it which is the same as Black Ops 2 ended up happening for that. It also happened on Ghost with that Skyfall map. I think it's Skyfall. I'm not sure. I didn't play it too much. But yeah you get Nuketown for free and you also get a calling card ready cool and some weapon camo. The weapon camo actually looks pretty nice. I've actually got it on my SVG and I've got it on my cooter at the moment. I've actually got a pretty nice cooter gameplay because I've been trying to keep up with Optic Scumpy's series where he tries to get a 70 kill challenge in TDM solo. I'm trying to use the exact same gun class setup as him so like it's sort of fair and all that stuff. I'm using the same streaks and everything. I actually dropped a nice gameplay. It wasn't a 70 but it was real nice. So I'll upload that on another day. Unfortunately my recording froze halfway through the game so I had to get it out of theater mode. But it's still there. I've still got the recording saved up on my PC so that's good. All right, we're going to get on to the other patch notes. I'm only going to give you a few because I've got another topic to talk about. But we're going to go on to the specialist. The Nomads had a nice fix where the hive gun would come out and then the server would disconnect. Uh, it annoys the crap out of me when servers disconnect so I'm glad that that got fixed. I don't really use the hive too much but I know that would annoy me if I did. And they've resolved the issue where the hive would actually keep making the hive noise when a person runs over it and that's actually really annoying especially if you got awareness on. Moving on to the score streaks. We got the hardened century fix where it could be shooting at people while it was carried. I've never actually been in a game where someone actually had that happen to me but I'm sure that would really annoy me and I'm glad that someone reported that. We've also got the counter UAV and the UAV fix where if you shoot at one of them and they're right next to each other they'll actually both destroy it in one rocket which is really good. Going on to the maps, we've got the map patches of all the exploits like jumping out of the maps, jumping onto buildings and all that stuff. So we got fringe, gauntlet, rise, splash and sky so there's a lot of maps there being patched with a lot of glitches. I'm sure there's going to be more found, but I'm glad that people have reported that. We've gone on to the game modes. We've got the safeguard where the robot will get stuck during its walking animation. I know that annoys the crap out of me. And not all escorting attackers will be awarded with the escort score event. So that's actually pretty good. Let's go on to the weapons. I know you just want to hear about the weapons. The MR6 has had a nerf. People have been wanting this gun nerfed. I, frankly, I don't use secondaries, so it's no problem to me. But when I do get killed by, I actually get melted with it so the max fire rate is reduced which sucks. The ICR has actually surprisingly had another buff. The accuracy has actually been increased. I'm not sure how much but it's a laser gun anyway so there's no need for grip or anything like that but that's not really too much to fuss about. And then there's a few fixed bugs with theater, zombies and campaign. I don't really go into that too much so I'm not going to get on with it to you. I'll leave the patch notes down in the description below if you wanted to check it out. Now let's get on to the giveaway. What I'm actually going to be giving away for you guys is a Black Ops 3 Season Pass for the Xbox One. I've actually given away a Season Pass already for the PlayStation 4. Now, that was on my Twitter, so I feel like that I need to share with you guys up on YouTube because you guys are supporting me so much lately. I've got around a thousand views on my previous video, which is freaking amazing. It's only a week old, and I've actually got over 100 likes. I've, I haven't had over 100 likes in a fair long time, so I just want to thank you guys for that as well. Now, how you want to enter this giveaway is you want to go into the link down in the description and just follow the prompts is going to be like eight ways to enter and also if you refer a friend to the giveaway every single time they enter the giveaway as well you're going to get an extra entry so that's going to double your chances as well but we're coming up to the end of the gameplay now what you've seen in the background was a pharaoh gameplay I ended up picking up a few guns i got a nuclear I ended up dropping 40 and one with the unstoppable as well so please leave a like rating down below if you really did enjoy the video and please do not forget to subscribe if you're new this is i got you sucker and i'm now Ladies.